Hey guys, Gray here, and today I'm doing a review on the Reverse Flash CW Ebar Thon's ring. Or when he was going by, you know. Um, I'm not going to spoil it because I don't want to spoil Even though it was on the first season that they spoiled it, I don't like spoiling it for people who's who. Uh, I, I really want to say it, but I don't want to at the same time. <laughs> Doesn't that just bug the crap out of you? Um, this is actually a pretty cool ring. It's a size 12 ring, and it's the only one that I know that is actually DC branded because it's the original box and also the branding on the back for which is kind of weird because like you know that's the thing like no matter what way you put the ring like this is the right way you're supposed to be and that's supposed to be worn but here's the thing the dc logo is upside down if you put it like this so did they do it accidentally the wrong way i don't know um you know i i, I think it's a pretty awesome prop it's really well made it's really done done well and you just gotta love it. I'm not gonna show the back of the box because, like, that way people can't make copies of it or whatever, you know. Um, but it's an awesome prop to have. I'm thinking of doing a video with it when I uh, when I'm done making a cosplay of making it look like the the suits coming out of the ring, possibly. Um, but yeah, like I, I already have plans to do a lot of that actually. Um, Personally, I always love the Flash series. I, I really do. I still love it. It's really good. Um, I even love the original Flash more than anything. And I mean the original, original. Uh, like Jay Garrick, for example. I love him more than anything. Uh, any of the others. I love him more than Barry. I love him more than Wally. I love him more than Bart. Um, Jay is probably one of the few that I would... like. He didn't do anything. He made his powers, basically. Yeah, he got struck by lightning, too. But here's the thing. He was working on an experimentation with hard water, which during that time was phenomenally amazing. He made his own suit, just like Barry. But here's the thing. He didn't do it with super speed. He he took the time and energy to learn the com chemical compounds that were needed. That's the thing, though. There's so many different versions of Flash now. There's so many, like, there's Savitar, there's Red Death, there's Eddie, there's how many that, like, at this point, that's insane. But Jay Garrick is the original out of them all, to me, personally. Because he's the first one throughout all of comics to ever get... There, there's even Speed Demon, who I literally have a picture of right here. Even some of the villains have gotten Speed Force at one point or another. Even Batman has gotten Speed Force at one point or another. And that was the Red Death version and another good version of him. But, you know, honestly, it's insane to me. Um, but, yeah, the, this ring I would totally recommend, um, especially for those that are looking. It's size 12 for the actual DC branded one. Um, they do make fake ones that are very close to the design, but without the DC logo. Um, I would totally recommend getting it if you ever get a chance. It is totally worth it. Um, the only downside is if you're wearing the cosplay, because trust me, I already made the gloves for the cosplay so far. I have not made the rest of the suit. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do the, like, the texture and to make it look right. Um, but, like, you can't wear the ring and the gloves at the same time. Which, oof, big design flaw there. It's like having a Green Lantern suit, but you can't wear the Green Lantern ring. Which destroys the whole idea of wearing the suit in the first place. Um, but yeah, uh... I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, have a nice day, and I totally recommend this prop. It's totally worth it.